Alright, so a few weeks ago, Placeit released Design Templates, which is a new tool that is meant to help out all those t-shirt sellers out there that are making a business out of merch by Amazon, Teespring, Redbubble, Custom Inc, Spreadshirt, and all of these wonderful sites that let people who are not designers make a t-shirt design and profit out of it. So this video is meant for me to show you what this tool is about, give you an insight on its features, how it works, and basically give you a full tutorial on how it works. Please make sure to leave a comment in the end if you have any questions, feedback, or anything that you would like us to help you with. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you'll have to visit Place at Avril. In Avril, you're going to see all of these mockups, templates, and assets that are meant to help you with your t-shirt business. Okay, you're going to see the mockups and everything you already know, and you're also going to see those new t-shirt templates. Okay, these are marked as free, so go ahead and click on the link above that says free t-shirt poster design templates. Okay, once that you do, you're going to see a lot of different templates. These have different layouts. These, for example, are badges. These are circular and allow different text fields. As this one has three text fields and has different types of shapes. This one has a text field, an icon or graphic. It has a different arrangement. That's what makes them different from one another. And they're all marked as free. These are 100% free at the time. You're able to use them for your designs. You're able to download them upload the designs to your shops, profit from them. It's totally, totally, totally okay for you to do that. That's what these are for. So I'm going to show you a couple right now, show you what the differences are. Okay, so this is a circular batch template. And we can see several text fields over here and the background and different elements. So we can go ahead and change some of the fields and add some text. For example, I just added a couple of text fields. It's something simple, you know, it's just an easy and quick idea that you can get started with. Don't judge me, my cat rules my world. Okay? I have a cat, so a lot of people I think can relate to. And then we can select a font. It already has a preset font. We can change it, definitely. So we're going to head and play with the fonts. That one's too small. This one reads a whole lot better. I like the way it looks white. Well, actually, Actually, I like this purple. And for this, we can also choose, as you can see, there are a lot of different fonts. And these actually combine with each other. These are pre-selected for, for you to choose them. Oh, this looks nice. It basically depends on your style and the type of, of brand that you have in your audience. I like that. But you're definitely able to play with this tool. It's super easy. As you can see, I don't even have to click a submit button. Everything just updates automatically, which is amazing. It's super, super friendly. You can also disable some of these text fields. So for example, I'm going to change this. I think it's too much text for a t-shirt design, for example. And I actually just changed the entire meaning of the T with just a couple words. Actually, it's way funnier. And easy as that. You can also choose from these colors, or click on more, you're going to see a color picker, or you can choose a hex code, which makes it easy if you already have like a preset brand color. Okay, so now that we have that covered up, 
we can go ahead and choose a different graphic. We can go for a lighter grain. And we can select another option. For example, this one. This makes sense. The idea here is for you to play with all these elements until you find something that you say, hey, I really want to put that on a t-shirt. And it doesn't really take long. I mean, with the first option I had, I was ready to print that on a t -shirt. However, I'm trying to show you like a couple of options just so we can test the tool. What we can do also is move this a little bit below so it doesn't get in the way. I think something a little bit more simple. Okay, this looks nice. And the graphic, as I said, we can also change the color. So we can do it in a darker gray. Nice. We can move on to the background. This one is a dark option. And it has like little dots in the background. We can change it. We can choose a different one as well. There are a lot of options over here. You can even choose a photo, like, let's see, like this one. It doesn't really make sense with the design. It's like bicolor. But for the purposes of this tee, since I'm going to print it on a white t-shirt, I want to have it on a transparent background. I want to print it on different colors. And luckily, this tool offers that option. Over here in background, click on the checkered option, and you're going to have a transparent background. Now, before downloading, go ahead and have a look at the download sizes. This is a default, okay? And there are different types of sizes. For example, general T means it's 4,000 times 4,000 pixels. This is a huge file that you're going to be able to upload to Teespring, to Spreadshirt, to a lot of different print-on-demand shops that you're going to be able to use for screen printing. It's like your go-to file. If you're into Merch by Amazon, you just go ahead and click on Amazon. Amazon Merch T-shirt, and that's it. It automatically updates to the size you need it to be. And it's ready. It keeps the same proportions. It doesn't change. So once that you're ready and once that you like it, just go ahead and download. It's a PNG. It's going to confirm the size. Then go ahead and download. Okay, so your download is ready. So click here on my drive. And you're going to see it here. Click on download. And that's it. Straight to your computer. And there you go. This is your t-shirt design. We just made it. And... As you can see, this is a file that is the exact size that you need for Merch by Amazon. The exact requirements, you have nothing else to do to it. You can simply upload it over there, start making sales out of it. Now, let's go back to the t-shirt templates. We already made a badge design. Let's go ahead and play with this one. Okay, so as I told you before, each template has a different set of images, backgrounds, and layout. This one has the graphic on top and then three lines of text. So we're gonna see how it works. Here we have a different set of icons and graphics. Some are gonna be different. So here's a cat, for example. But I'm not gonna make another t-shirt about a cat. So let's see. Here I'm starting with the icons because I really like that one. And I'm gonna go ahead and play with this icon because I have an idea in mind. As you can see, I'm super bad with ideas for t-shirts. 
but it's super, super easy for people to make a great t-shirt. Once that we have the text over here and the icon, we can play with uh, fonts. These are a little bit different. Some are the same, some are different. This one would look good on the team. We can now play with the background. You can choose a background color, then choose a pattern and the background color is going to go underneath it. It may seem obvious, for example, on these ones, but on these gradient backgrounds, it really goes along well because it blends with the background colors, like this. This is what I mean. I chose a um, yellow-ish that was actually the default. And when you select a background that has a color, it's going to blend. So, for example, if I choose a purple shade and then the blue background, it's going to give me something more purple-ish like this, which looks real cool. Maybe a little bit lighter. Okay, and this would look great on a poster. This would look great on a sublimation t-shirt. Imagine that, you know, the gradients, everything. So, I like this. I really do. So let's say I want to use this for Pinterest. I click on that, click on download, PNG. That's my file size. And it's gonna process right away. I don't have to do anything and I can keep on designing. I don't have to lose my design. Now for a t-shirt, I can just lose the image, choose a transparent background, and this image. Click on download. And then back to creating. Let's go back to our templates. Let's do one last template. As I said, all of these are free. Now I'm gonna show you the photographs. Over here we can see photos, actual photos. These are amazing for social media posts. So these are super useful. I'm just gonna show you the images so we can play around with those. These are super useful as well. So this one is gorgeous. Okay, so for example, for example, and we can select a different icon that makes more sense with what we're saying. Actually, since the photo is so pretty, I think I'm gonna not use an icon because that's also a possibility. Because these are amazing. But for example, if we add an icon, it loses focus from the image in the background. So I'm gonna choose not one. And it's gonna rearrange the text. It looks nice. This looks great for social media posting. So let's see. Instagram post. Nice. It changes the entire thing. It makes a whole lot more sense. We're going to choose a different font. Something that goes along with the image. I like this one. And that's it. That's all you need. Once more, just click on download. Free download. And that's it. Over this video, I showed you how to make a t-shirt design. Over here, we can download them. Again, these are all gonna be here. I showed you how to make a Pinterest post, an Instagram post, how to use these amazing tools, as I've said before. You can use them for your print-on-demand shops. So go ahead and place it, place it April, click on design templates. We're adding new layouts every single day. So go ahead and take a look see how it works, let us know if you have any sort of questions. So that's it. That's everything I wanted to show you guys in today's video. Hope you find it useful and please let us know what you think in the comments.